Gnosticism, the Church of the Occult Kabbalist. Many people reject the Church, Vatican, Catholic or other organized churches, but they practice Gnosticism, something that is just another side of the coin of the same Church. The source, deities, ideas, scripts are all the same as the Jesuits spread all over the last couple of hundred years. Gnosis is the fascination, literally the magic spell, for the ancient hidden myths and mysteries. Of course, again, a total Kabbalistic fabrication to fool even the most smartest man and woman into twisted reality and far away from logical, independent, reality-based thinking. Many would claim Gnosis is what is behind Freemasonry because of the G, but others say is God, geometry, could also be the goat or something to please everyone. But yes, Gnosis is definitely part of Freemasonry, as is Vika, all the Satanist, the magic, magician, voodoo, witchcraft, tarot, esoteric, but also the New Age and all the ones who practice Kabbalah-based doctrines, ideas and rituals. The Gnosis is part of the Roman Babylonian system, nothing else. We will definitely see through the videos and that they use the exact same bullshit, just many times reversed, twisted, arranged, but what is already twisted. Gnosis can definitely be generalized because it's like a workshop to create your own individual religion as it you please. So there are many different directions people have taken. But the base stays the same. Many have heard about it, even more have met or talked to Gnostics without even knowing what they are really thinking or talking about. Even Gnostics themselves have most of them no clue what they are really practicing. And if they know, they have already accepted the whole twisted bullshit that Gnosis is proposing. And we will see how it is deeply twisted from reality of life. They think everyone has a inherently as a knowledge of God within themselves. But not everyone have access to this knowledge, but those who can will be safe. That's the same arrogant shit as every other religion have. Of course, uh, Gnostics don't like interpretation. Even the whole Gnosis is based on interpretation, but they think they are so intellectual smart that everything has to be explained in details. So, Gnosis is the common Greek noun for knowledge, and we will see what they mean under knowledge. The term was used amongst various Hellen Hellenistic religions and philosophies in Greek-Roman world. Wikipedia. And of course, uh, all the ones who come and comment that we only use Wikipedia, have just not even watched four minutes of the video. So if they are comment that we are based on that, they just fool themselves. And this was the trick we just put for them. Uh, yeah. So they will shout about us that we have no idea what is really going on. Of course, we will... Uh, why we use Wikipedia is because this is what they want people to think. And so we have to look into Wikipedia first, what they really want to say about it, and then go deeper, what is really going on. So if we uh, uh, look in etymology, Gnosis, knowledge, especially uh, knowledge of spiritual mysteries from Greek, Gnosis. So, um, Gnosis is varieties of early Christianity, they claim. They say they are two different uh, Gnosis. 
one from the early Christianity and one that uh, came up after um, 800 or so. Um, this is what they claim. The thought and practice especially of various cults of late pre-Christian and early Christian centuries distinguished by the conviction that matter is evil and that emancipation comes through gnosis. Matter is evil. Yeah, This is Miriam, Miriam Webster. So again, Gnosticism is a term modern scholars have used to refer to any of various philosophical, philosoph philosophical and ideological movements in the Greco-Roman world in the early Christian area, particularly in the second century. So we will read a lot. You, you are maybe a better reader than we. Um, See, we're going to read it. The meaning of the term is, however, disputed, and there is little scholarity consensus on whatever the movement are in fact related, and if so, how. This is on Britannica. Fifty-eight is believer in a mystical religious doctrine of spiritual knowledge from late Latin. Gnosticus, uh, Gnostic from late Greek, yeah, blah, 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 applied to various early Christian sects that claimed direct personal knowledge beyond the gospel or the church hierarchy. They appeared in the first century AD, flourished in the second, and were stamped out in the sixth. That's again etymology. Gnosticism is the belief that the human being contain a piece of God, the highest good and or divine spark within themselves, which has fallen from the immaterial world into the body of human. All physical matter is subject to decay, rotting and dead. <laughs> yeah, there we already can see how they they did, did not comprehend what life really means. And this is how, from there, they are coming to transhumanism, humanism, and all these things. And this is the result what we get, and they are worshipping exactly the same thing. So it's important that we we start to see what they are what is really going on because a lot of them they they they're making debates about about stuff and 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 they're they're twisting everything around gnosticism is a collection of religious ideas and system collection which kohal in the first centuries ad among jewish jewish and early christian sects again these various groups emphasize personal spiritual knowledge above the orthodox teaching traditions and authority of a religion's institution. So they they feel about already above the church. But this is the same thing that we have always said. See if if they are already in their sand pit and they are not looking outside, they will just try to make a, a, a better sand pit. This is all what they are doing. And this is exactly what the Gnosticism are doing. They are doing nothing else than what the church is already doing. So this whole uh, idea and stuff and and um, ideology is is promoted through different, like Charles William Kings or like this um, French uh, René Guénon. Uh, we'll see more about him. And also, of course, the whole Blavatsky, the whole esoteric, um, um, anthroposophic, and all this, all this direction. Carl Jung, uh, the whole psychology and so on, is already based on this twisted uh, way of thinking. So about uh, René Guénon, 
Jean-Marie Joseph Guénon was a French intellectual who remained an influential figure in the domain of metaphysics, having written on topics ranging from esotericism, sacred sites and traditional studies to symbolism and initiation. So this whole initiation stuff also is uh, a huge part uh, of, their, um, of their way of uh, doing things. So here we have this uh, René Guénon. René Guénon was born in Blois, France in 1986. He grew up a strict Catholic environment and was schooled by Jesuit. <laughs> yeah, so again, the ones who, who worshipping this kind of thing, they have to know what, what, what kind of source this figures in this uh, movement is really doing. And also they, they continue to make different doctrines like esoteric roles according to René Guénon. The Templar has the title of Garden of the Holy Land. So we are same Templar, Pharaoh stuff, which does not denote a geographical but place but a spiritual center as we already shown what is all about the third temple and all this Jerusalem and so on. As night the Templar controlled the access to knowledge. As monks their role was to maintain and transmit the metaphysical truth and also to communicate with similar organizations of other tradition. This is exactly what the Jesuit is doing. <laughs> yeah. So um this is uh, uh, always we find the same Im influential guy who think they, they have something special to propose. Those in 508005, uh, the Lodge appointed Fabre Palab Grand Master initially provisional to rebuild the order of the temple. Order of the Temple, the idea of an autonomous order of the Temple, independent, unlikely the Templar degree of Freemasonry. Please and interested Napoleon Bonaparte himself, who authorized a solemn ceremony in 1808. Ferbe Palabre, uh, however, does not only have the mind in uh, Chibicalitry or destined to re-enter the orbit of the Catholic Church more or less quickly. His idea of him, quite otherwise ambitious, which began the manifest in uh, 1812, is linked to the Neo-Templar New Religion. And this is exactly the same thing that we already had many times, all these different sects that was uh, uh, coming up. Okay, what's going on? Animation stock. So this new religion created all different kind of, of uh, other sects. They start to, like in Switzerland, the Knight Templar, the Sun Templar, huge uh, mass suicide, they burn down houses, uh, and we don't remember how many people um, killed themselves, what they said, but uh, they had also bullets in the head. So this create also this kind of, of uh, extreme sects, of course not all of them. Um, so the Nak uh, Hamadi library is something they found in uh, the desert of um, uh, this is um, Egypt or in uh, Sinai, and uh, they say this uh, farmer who finds some papyrus stuff that was there for three thousand years. Um, <laughs> that's quite funny. Papyrus is like the, the, the worst paper to 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 stock somewhere, but it it holds up for for centuries. For centuries the Mysterious Nak Hamidi Kondis lay buried and forgotten under a cliff in rural Egypt until a local farmer found them in 1945. 
<laughs> close to the upper Egypt town of Nag Hammadi. <laughs> yeah, just just like that they find something. Of course. The Nag Hammadi library is a collection of early Christian and Gnostic texts discovered near the upper Egypt Egyptian town of Nag Hammadi in 1945. Thirteen lattice bound papyrus codais buried in a sealed jar were found by a local farmer named Mohammed al Saman. This is the official story. Early Christian writing and discovered in the past centuries, however, go further. The Gospel of Philip and the Nag Hammadi texts describe Mary Magdalene as a companion of Jesus, who the Savior loved more than all other disciples, as he kissed often on the mouth. Well, this is what Jesuit, exactly what the Jesuit want people to believe even the, 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 the believers. So um, again, the Jesuit says facts about St. Mary Magdalene in her feast. She's never abandoned Jesus as most of these other disciples did. John Gospel is, is here uh, heard and the rising Christ appears first in the time between the rise, one appearing to her and proclaiming the resurrection. So this is the um, Mary Magdalene is considered to be the saint of the Catholic, Eastern, Orthodox, Angelic and Lutheran domination. In um, 2016, Pope Francis, for her to be referred as the Apostle of the Apostles. The Jesuit Pope wants this to be believed as the sacred prostitute. So the... Whole Gnosticism is based on different deities. They, uh, um, it's just like a choose and pick, and the, the, the sources of them are just coming from a little bit everywhere. Also, they have their god or half god, uh, demiurge. We will see in that, but also the whole um, philosophical uh, stuff is just pure fantasy based stuff pretend to to be um, Plato Socrates and so on so again it's just like a in short Gnosticism is a melting pot where gods deities scripture philosophers prophets and all other charlatans are from all from all sorts of made-up areas are thrown together to create their own ego-tailed religion. This is what Gnosticism is. Gnosticism is like going into a supermarket where you can pick and choose whatever you want as long as you go into the supermarket, you are in the club and you will get saved. But again, it is fully based on uh, occult, Babylonian, satanic uh, cult and also the whole uh, uh, there we have something hold on okay hold on all right Gnostics borrow a lot of ideas and terms from Platonism. They exhibit a keen understanding of Greek philosophical terms and Greek coin language in general and use Greek philosophy as concept through their text, including such concepts as hypostasis, reality existence, ausia, essence, substance, being, and demiurge, creator, God. And further, there were some important philosophical difference. Gnostics empathize magic and ritual in a way that would be, have been disagreeable to some more sober 
Neoplatonists such as Plat Platinus and Perpetri to perhaps not late in upper, um, Neoplatonists such as Lambiches. So again, they are not agreeing at all with whoever. <laughs> yeah, and they just pick and choose and make things up. If it don't fit, make up some shit. This is exactly what they are doing. According to some strain of Gnosticism, the Demiurge is a malvayant as it is linked to the material world in other, including the teaching of Valentinus, the Demiurge is the simply ignorant or misguided. So again, this is the same thing we always hear from um, people, um, that the material world is a prison and that the spiritual world is freedom. Well, this is exactly what the Kabbalists and Satanists want from you. They want that you just give up all what is here and what is life to give up into a fantasy world. This is exactly how they catch the people. And no matter if you don't if you are not religious, you can go into Gnostics and you are in exactly the same indoctrination. Definition of Demiurge, capitalized a platonic subordinate deity who fashions the sen uh, sensible world in the light of eternal ideas, Gnostic subordinate deity who is the creator of the material world. So th because the material world is evil, the rotting and decay and, and bad, of course, Demiurg can't be good. Yeah? <laughs> One that is uh, autonomous creative force or deceiving power. So this is how they represent this uh, Demiurg. In these forms of Gnostic, the God of the Old Testament, Yahweh, is often considered to have been the Demiurg. So you can put Yahweh and Demiurg on the same Thing and this also says a lot about who Yahweh is, that he is the maker of the evil world, right? So not the monad, or sometimes different passages are interpreted in referring to each. So um, making the different of monad, uh, just to see. So monad is the God above, the Demiurg, yeah, so there is God, there is Demiurg, and there is we, the ego, the personalities. And this is also where you see why are they defending the ego so much, because this is part of the whole Gnostic stuff. And this is the same as the Templar looking at uh, Baphomet. Baphomet is the creator, the great architect of the universe. Yeah, and we will see more uh, why they putting that stuff. So the soul mind is created by Demiurg, and the ego personalities are the end product of that. So Monad is the god, soul Demiurg is the between who creates the material world, and we are in the material world, and we have to reach the Monad. Yeah, and so Demiurg, Yahweh, and Baphomet are all the same um, interpretation of what is going on, and this is exactly uh, the perfect. And that's why also they worshipped the, the the snake. Yeah, the snake is 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 the creator of the material, bad, evil world. <laughs> And we are the, the puppets on the string. Um, the monad is the monarchy. Okay, he is the king, with nothing about it. It is he who exists as God and Father of everything, the invisible one who is above everything, who exists as in corruption, which is the, the pure light into 
which no eye can look. And this is also why they, that's why they don't call him, uh, like in Judaism, you don't call him on the name. Without the name, you call him. And uh, this is also because you can't see him. Yeah, this is, that's why he, they accept it as he is invisible and nobody can see it. But they know it exists. <laughs> Monad is the English term meaning one single or unit, especially in technical context. It comes from the Latin uh, monad, derives from the Greek word monos, uh, mono, yeah, one single or unique. So this is exactly the same. <laughs> new world or the concept of all is one even the worst bullshit you just put it in yeah we are just one and no matter the pedophiles no matter the psychopaths manipulation we are just one this is exactly what they want accepting all the bullshit so general waste and from there on you go in all direction yeah this is the all one symbol. This is the, the all cows symbol, and they want cows. So, if they go until the sun worship, and from there on, singularity. Yeah, everything is one singularity. It's exactly what they want. The whole transhumanism bullshit, up to Klaus Schwab, and they believe that bullshit. We have we have to comprehend that they believe in that corrupted way of thinking and life and that's why they are practicing like that an anagram from monad would be damon nicht, not uh, demon this name derives from uh, ancient greek damona which in in turn from the sanskrit diminyati meaning tame overpower subdue conquer vanquish okay so again, it's like also the Yahweh. It's not like a nice God. The Yahweh is is is, is the, the the God of war, thunder, and and so on. So our humans, monads, the human soul, have, however, and the soul of every other living thing, is a single monad which controls of a composite body. Okay. The highest level of monad mind or human soul enjoys higher order thoughts. In virtue of such higher order thoughts, minds are able to think about their perception themselves and the necessary truths. <laughs> Again, if you tell that some ego, uh, selfish driven people, they become even more superior than all the others. That's why the arrogance and that's why it's also so many people talk about spiritual development they think they have somewhere to go they think they have to reach something and this is part of this whole gnosis stuff so now the ego the soul and the monarch to access the soul is uncomfortable accomplished for a very few committed spiritual beings since many seems to have difficulty uh, differentiating the voice of e egoic mind and the real voice of the higher self <laughs> um, I, I mean if, if you if you can decode this or just read it simply then you would know why they are so ego driven and so fanatic to defend their ego yeah this is incredible but there's something else yeah this is exactly what this anxiety gives this is exactly what people what makes people soulless and again soul is the life within the body yeah and these people are getting through this kind of doctrine they are just they get completely fucked up because if you hear voices in your head, then it's the demon of the dead soul who is speaking. Well, this is what we say. Think about it. The self 
is the source of all mental problems. If we have time, we're going to make a video about it. But think about it. The whole focus on ourself is completely damaging our, and fuck up our, the mind. We have, we have to, if we want to think about something, we always have to take distance. If we look at it from our own perspective, we fuck up everything. This is how we get trained. This is how people get trained since long time. So now the whole esoteric, yeah, we also have to see that the whole esoteric is based on pure pagan satanic rituals. Again, the whole worship of the star, the moon, uh, the sun, this is all part of the esoteric and occult Kabbalah worship. Yeah, No matter if it's the, the whole um, astrological science or the, the interpretation of the astrological science. And this is all part of this complete uh, manipulated mindset they want to put in people's mind. And people compare, uh, when people have um, the same um, uh, astrological signs, but this is because they are in the same program. So uh, from birth, we get already put in, in, in Cancer or Capricorn or, or whatever, and that this is the program we, we go through. So, of course, there will be similarities be between people who have the same astrological signs. This is program. So now it's getting interesting. In a religious context, Gnosis is a mystical or esoteric knowledge based on direct participation with the divine. Hmm. In most Gnostic systems, the sufficient of cause of salvation is this knowledge of acquittance with the divine. <laughs> so if you accept it, then you have already the divine spark. Hmm? Nah, not bad. So again, um, wh where is the direct participation with the divine? Where is the divine? Divine, where are you? This is bullshit. Yeah, They claim to have a direct participation, but this is only their own ego, self-driven uh, mindset that is allowing them. So esoteric, secret, intended to be communicated only to the initiated. Profound, Latinized, belonging to an inner circle. You are in the club or not. Classical applies to certain writings of Aristotle of a scientific or opposed to a popular character later to doctrine to Pythagoras. In English, first Pythagoras doctrine. Well, this is exactly the self-masturbation by perfection, yeah? It is only for the initiated one, and once you get initiated, everyone can initiate you, <laughs> and then you are uh, initiated. So it's like really a easy. Um, <laughs> it's just an easy fabrication. Yeah. But again, it is a eager masturbation, exactly what all these religions are proposing. So from esoteric to hold the star, moon, sun worship um, comes also the different planets. Yeah. So Saturn is the secret god of the occult world. We would say it is one secret god of the occult world. And uh, yeah, I mean the logos are everywhere, of course. And we already talked about a lot in the symbolism videos about the whole... Uh, cube and Saturn and where this whole, yeah, you can make a cross with it, you can, this is the base of this whole worship. And of course also uh, the black sun who represents Satan, yeah, 
And uh, it's not the sun, it doesn't represent the sun, it represents Saturn. So there we have also these people who claim to be Satanists, yeah, but this is just uh, a club of of uh, fashion and and distraction. But it, it exists and they have the same logo. And if we look, it is just another um, symbol of the Philosopher's Stone, uh, the, one of the bases of the, the, the Freemasonry. Um, you can look for yourself what they try to make with it. Uh, basically, uh, in Freemasonry, it is that you are, like in Gnostics, you are like a, a rock that have to be worked out that's why the freemasons yeah so you you are like a a normal stone until you get shaped by the freemasonry this is what the philosophical stone represents and that is exactly the same in gnostics you just have to get initiated and then you are part of the whole thing so the fraternitas saturni or the brotherhood of saturn was founded in um, 1926 the Fraternitas Saturni is a purely esoteric knowledge lodge that seeks to realize a Aquarian age impulse of spiritual clarity and freedom. So again, there are just some other clubs. Um, so we have also this Eugen Grosche, yeah, who is uh, uh, one of the, uh, the guy who inspired the whole Nazi movement in Germany. Again, all occultist and uh, satanist so um it is not secret that the nazi party was devoted to the occult ss leader heinrich himmel himmel used his power to create a religion intended to revival christianity again um psychopaths they will always compete uh, themselves <laughs> this is what is going on Complete with its own wedding rituals and mythological, mythologic based of huge, okay, North myths and pagan symbolism. Again, exactly the same thing, always the same Babylonian uh, narrative worshipped. And from then on, you can see why the black, black sun. Uh, represents the Saturn or the occult and also like the Pope hut yeah this is also called or represents the Saturni and again we are back to the Jesuits and also that the Jesuits and the Third Reich uh, this is also not a myth you can watch it up for yourself the Gnostic God concept is more sub subtle than the most religions in its way, it is unite and reconciles the uh, recognition of monotheism and polytheism, as well as theism, theism, and patheism. <laughs> everything. They accept everything. And this is exactly what people have to comprehend. If you are not religious in one of these religions, then you are agnostic, and then you, you practice exactly the same thing. But this is what leads to the new world religion yeah everything is one no matter what the religion everything comes together um so uh, the monotheism is the god is great and there is the universe uh, polytheism there is the go different gods and the universe theism is god um creates the universe theism is god and the universe but Pantheism and Patheism is God and the universe is the same. Atheism, they say, is only universe. Yeah, the religion of the the same thing. So at, being atheism, <laughs> uh, atheist is, is exactly the same. The same religion, the same doctrine. They have something for everyone. And then the Panetheism who think the universe is within... Uh, and so on. And then we have also the dose, docetism. Yeah, uh, stuff exists. 
From Greek, Dokein to seem Christian heresy and one of the earliest Christian sectarian doctrine affirmed that the Christ did not have a real natural body during his life on earth, but only appeared as phantom one. He is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. But still think that... Um, um, this stuff is real, yeah. So now we come to the what they think knowledge is, yeah? because this is what all where they based the illusion on. Um, knowledge is a familiarity or awareness of someone or something such as fact, skill or object often contribute to understanding. Knowledge of a fact also refers as a proportional knowledge is often defined as true belief. This is Wikipedia. That distincts from opinion or guesswork by virtue of uh, justification. So it is just defined as the true belief. Let's go further on. Knowledge, the fact or knowing of knowing something with the familiarity gained through experience or association. This is what the words say. <laughs> so it is not just to believe something, you have to be able to experience by association. And the etymology is again completely church twisted our knowledge of a superior honor and worship so what is knowledge really yeah if you worship if you play the slave this is uh, not knowledge yeah this is belief believing to know is a belief is not knowledge simple as that so a mystical Sophia, a mystical deception Sophia from Geheime Figuren of Rosenkreuze Altona. Again, the whole Sophia is an invention of the Rosen. Uh, how you say in English? Uh, Rose, Temple of the Roses. Um, yeah, you will find it out. But here you have it. Sophia is the whole. Uh, knowledge, what they claim uh, out of the Greek, a mystical deception of Sophia. Um, Sophia, a proper name from Greek, Sophia, skill, knowledge of acquaintance by wit, sound judgment, practical wisdom, cunning, scrutiness, philosophy, also wisdom personified. Abstract noun from sophos, wise, see sophist. Okay, let's see further. What? Wisdom, uh, all English wisdom, knowledge, learning, experience from wise, see wise, dom. We will what everything what is in green, we will check later. So the dome, a round vaulted roof of hemispherical covering of a building in the Middle Ages, Germany, dome and Italian Duomo were used for cathedral or the notion of God's house. Okay, again, the church, the dome, like free dome. Yeah? It's not free, like it's just free within a certain area. So the sophist, one who makes use of fallacious arguments. Hmm. Interesting. This is what Sophia is. Hmm. So the whole philosophy, no matter where, is all based on this uh, same um, moral. Yeah, they call it moral, but this is not moral at all. And this is going everywhere. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people are agnostic in influence with consciously or unconsciously. In wisdom, Sophia is the spouse of God and of the king, um, just as Isis is the spouse of God and the mother of the king. Sophia protects the righteous man, grants the ability to rule, 
and has the knowledge of all holy things. Isis give, gives to all who are righteous great blessing hymns of Isidorus. Okay, so again, Sophia and Isis, uh, same shit. And then Horus, yeah, uh, the god of sky, or the eye in the sky. Um, and so they see it as um, someone above in um, Freemasonry as in um, agnostics they see this is the eye in the sky the, the eye protecting eye or our third eye and so on yeah, this is all the third eye bullshit Horus is the son of Osiris and Isis the divine child of the holy family triad He is one of the many gods associated with the falcon. His name means he who is above. He who is distant. And this is um, Horus embodies the victory of spiritual consciousness over natural force. His fighting with his agonist set Signified his struggle to overcome his animal nature, Horus is a figure of deception as is Christ. Eventually he is receiving a, a luminous spirit body, the eye of Horus, and the third eye is the eye of initiative vision, symbolic of his spiritual development. Okay? So Horus is fighting his, his fight with his antagonist set struggle to overcome his animal nature let's see what is really going on so we have horus and set yeah the eye the set sun set horizon and he is fighting with agonist set so horus is the horizon, the sun when it comes to the horizon, and the set is when it is the sunset. So in their primitive, <laughs> really small thinking way, it is just the combat of the sun. Yeah. So the, 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 the evening, the, the Horus doesn't want to get set to win. <laughs> so they have, every day they have the same game and it's not finished. Yeah, because there is a third, yeah, and also the same walking on the water. Yeah, the sun is walking on the water, like the sunrise, sunset, and the Lucifer, the light bringer. Yeah, so again, the all-seeing eye, and so on. So we have set, sunset. Yeah. Set also known as Set and Setwek was the Egyptian god of war, chaos and storm. Yeah, this is the interpretation because this, the, if the, if you worship the sun, then he is the god that destroyed the whole sun in the evening. <laughs> Brother of, of Arisis, Isis and Horus, the elder uncle of Horus and younger the brother husband of Nemphis, his other consort was the goddess Tawaret, a hippo-headed deity who preside over fertility and childbirth. So again, is the whole sexual um, cult is included too. So when the classic Gnostics call it themselves the race seed of Set, they are making themselves of as a group of people with a distinct spiritual religious identity and destiny. A narrow version of the wide ancient Christian uses of Russian language. Yeah. So they call themselves seed of Set. The Set. Yeah. So the God of War. And this is also like where you come into the whole um, yeah, snake thing. What what happened really with the snake? Uh, who is the snake? We have seen they worship the snake, the Mjörg. Yeah, and so we also can see why they have um, 
why they use, why they worship Baphomet, why the whole um, WHO is based on this, and why the whole transgender agenda is also based on this, because yeah, their their god is is not female, not male, and no surprise this whole thing comes all together in one that is what the new world order is preparing since long time the setians are the gnostics movement who claim to possess secret knowledge that could unlock transcendent and understanding central to many gnostic belief is a dualistic view of the universe <laughs> yeah exactly what the freemasons are proposing duality illusion there is no duality so this is how they see their spiritual awakening yeah and of course uh, if you tell them that they have just to do certain kind of rituals initiation and that they reach the higher thinking <laughs> yeah you have to best you have to best miss the smith uh, agent of the system proposing everywhere the same bullshit and mostly for for them who are not, not interested in church or the ones who run away from church jump exactly in this kind of things Setian mythology is a centred on the event preceding the story of Genesis offering a radical reinterpretation of the Torah described as a creation rather than emphasize human weakness in breaking God's commandment Setians emphasizes a crisis of the divine fullness ignorant of matter as despite in stories about Sophia so again Set, Horus, Isis yeah, all seeing eye the Jesuit Isis, Horus and set comes all together yeah and um without exception they um created this messianic kingdom for them to uh um to rule as we said jesuit have infiltrated everything have tried to convince everyone to this their uh, indoctrination so like um, Buddhism, Gnosticism begins with the fundamental recon recognition that earthly life is filled with suffering. Again, like already the bird is pain and suffering. And this is written by man. Yeah, This is written by man who have no ideas what a woman is going through on birth. But if it would really be so painful and and so on, why they are making more than one child or why they even would go bad having sex with another, with another man if they know that what, what would come. So this is again a man interpretation of uh, what woman is going through and only because they can't fit, uh, they don't know what to do in life and don't comprehend what is really going on. The material world, the reality, is a burden. Like in Buddhism, same shit. All religious tradition and knowledge that the world is imperfect. Perfection is the illusion. Yeah? Life is not perfect. Perfection is the illusion. That's, that's the mind concept. That is when you want to live in a box. Everything has to be perfect. And again, it's just an acceptance of another complete illusion. Many religions advocate that the human are to be blamed for the imperfection of the world. This is exactly the same thing what the Gnostics are doing. Human are generally ignorant of the divine spark resident within them. So they have need initiation. Uh, of course. The greatest excuse when Gnostics are criticized is, oh, the church already does long time try to put us on the stake. 
<laughs> bad excuse. We are used to be called heretics, meaning a person holding an opinion and odd with it was generally accepted from the church or Rome. And they claim they are not religious people. They claim they are not from the church, but it is just a twisted church. Yeah? It is even twisted twice because they use the twisted ideology from the church and twist it just for them. And they claim the material world is bad, created and ruled by Satan. Knowing that the real truth about ancient mysteries and deities, gods, scripture, Bible, Talmud, etc., yeah, they are even above all the other religions. So again, you can see that this is uh, the base of the whole Kabbalistic occultist who don't really recognize, don't recognize at all what life is all about. That's why, because they are have already given up the trust of life, they have to, they need to fall into this whole bullshit ancient mystery stuff. And this is where everyone gets catched. And again, we said it all the time, it, once you get indoctrinated by Jesuit, you almost can't spot it out what it is and almost can't get away from it. That's why they are, once they are indoctrinated, they always try to make it worse, better, in their mind, but what they are doing, they're just doubling the uh, Jesuit indoctrination and this only serves the system. Thanks for watching.